Hello everyone, today I will uh, present you the new functionality of InfraRox 2023.1. Now you can create directly your family in Revit and it will be used by InfraRox. I will show you all the manipulation you have to do to do that. So first you will start with your classic template. Okay. You can start by any template, by the way. So here I will uh, create some axes, like usual. So I won't show um, every axis. So here, after uh, I have created dimensions, so now I will put parameter on it. So it will be a instance parameter. Okay, because uh, it can change every section, but it will be the same uh, family here. And here I select some other parameter. Here you, you don't need to choose really a proper name because after you will have a dialog box to match from one to another. And I will put the total height. Here. Okay. So now I, I uh, will manage to see if the axes are correctly linked with my parameter. And then, like you see, I will uh, create the extrusion. Here. So after I will create two other parameters to manage uh, this extrusion and I will fix on my axis every element. Now it's done. So now I will set some uh, parameter for the extrusion to control it. So uh, to the center and the total size. And after, uh, like the other, I will uh, set this to uh, the extrusion to my reference plan. Now it's done and I locked. So I will verify uh, that the parameter is correctly linked to my geometry like this. So the idea is to, to check uh, every parameter which is needed to see if it fits uh, what you want to achieve. Here I will switch uh, the category to bridge uh, peer. Here maybe I could have chosen uh, peer wall, but I keep peer, like, like you can see. And of course it can host rebar. I will put some formula for the sample. Uh, here I will set that the, the peer is in the middle of the plan. So I divide by two uh, these lengths here. So now I will move to InfraVox. So I will open the steel palette. And in the steel palette, in uh, bridge parametric model for peers, I will add this uh, RFA file. Once it's done, I will set that uh, it's a bridge component and then it's a peer. And here you will see the needed parameter. And that's why after I will match, you don't need to know uh, before uh, the name of the parameter here. And uh, here you can create different and I can group in a UI if needed. And when I've done that, after I will change this and so I will uh, put uh, a uh, about four you can see and it will uh, update what is nice in fact it's a link it means that uh, if you update the Revit family for example you create void or something like that after you just have to uh, update the family inside InfraWorks base 
on this uh, Revit family, and it will all update and all the component uh, inside you have already set stay set. So here I create, uh, I will copy it, uh, not with an IRA, I will copy it uh, directly, and to have more, yeah. And here I save just uh, for you, and then uh, in Improworks. I just have to go to Steel Palette, load, uh, modify, and load again. And so it will update the style. And it will keep all parameters you have already set, which is really nice. Here you, you can see. And once, uh, for example, uh, to see a little bit more, you can add a clip uh, plan. Uh, here you can see uh, this element with the clipping plan. Once you have done that, you can set for every peer uh, to use this family. Then take care to update your Revit InfraWorks updater in 2023.1. And of course, uh, classic, you can send all this to Revit. So it will create a Niamix. So you have a Revit uh, InfraWorks updater here. And here you will load the IMX, and after you get it, and here you get the Revit family uh, inside, and here you can edit or change the value if you want. Even if the logic is to change in InfraWorks and update this Revit file again. Thank you for watching.